Hi guys, it's uh, Dave from What's Brewing the UK. It's time for another brew, and uh, we're going to be doing a Tom Thomas Cooper's selection. And it's uh, today we're going to be doing an IPA, my first IPA. So um, this is a uh, one I've been looking at for a while, so I think we'll give it a go. Nothing special, just exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, I might be uh, trying this one again. I'm going to probably try it with some hops in, just give it a boost. But uh, today we're just doing it as it says on the tin, just to see how it comes out. And uh, we'll take it from there. So, let's have a look. Okay guys, so, here's the tin. Thomas Cooper's. Might be here. Um, have a look at the... Uh, Yeast well worn. Nothing special, just whatever comes with, with the tin. I'm going to be doing somewhere where I'm using my own uh, yeast rather than the ones in the tin. Not wrong with the ones in the tin, just there. I'm going to give it a try using a different one. And instructions, we've all seen them before. Blah, blah. So that's the, the tin. We're going to be using our spear mount, 500 grams, and we're going to be using 300 grams of our dextrose. Uh, exactly what we did with the uh, Pilsner. Uh, so it should have, uh, well, I don't really like really strong um, bees anyway, so that's one of the reasons why I'm using it uh, with 300 grams of sugar. If you wanted a bigger boost then obviously you could put 500 in or maybe a little bit more. But I'm just going to stick with the uh, the 300 just to see how it comes out, see what it tastes like. And uh, I will be doing this kit again, but next time we do the kit um, I'm definitely going to be using some hops. I'm making like a hop tea. But uh, yeah, so Thomas Cooper's IPA, 500 grams of light spear malt and 300 grams of, let's get that in, double sugar, dextrose, simple as that. And let's go make some. Mm. Alright, guys, so. <coughs> I've got my tin, which I'm going to drop into some boiling water. And I've got uh, this in, very hot. Um, in this pan, I've just got the uh, starting to boil now. So we're going to see if we can put the camera. I bought a new stand for the camera, so hopefully we'll be able to see things a lot better. First thing that we're going to do is get our sterilised spoon. Add the you can see there, 300 grams of dextrose, just like that. Give it a stir. And hopefully, you can see it. It just disappears. Exactly what we want. There we go, you can see. We've got the palm. And now we just need to add our dextrose, which is going to be the hard bit. It normally clogs up, so I might pour it in the bowl first. Try it that way. Well, let's have a go. Okay, we go. Try this, see if it works. This is 
500 grams of dextrose. Give that a good stir until it's all dissolved. Okay, guys, well, I've, uh, I'll give that a good stir. There's no lumps in there whatsoever. So, last time I poured it from the pocket into the um, into here, but uh, into the pan. But uh, this time I've uh, I poured the dextrose into a bowl and put it in from the bowl. It went in a lot easier, and um, then all I did was just like you do with a Cooper's can, I just rinsed the bowl with hot water out of a kettle, and it uh, got all the bits off the side. And there you go. So, this is going to be added to the bucket, and we're going to open our tin, which is sitting over there, and uh, add that to the bucket. So, first of all, we'll add this big pan to the bucket. Right, so we're going to pour the, pour the mixture in. This is the uh, dextrose and the um, spray mold. Pour the kettle, pop it in there. Unfortunately, my lights are blue, so uh, <laughs> I'm in low light, but you can see what's going on there. Yeah. So, we just need to um, rinse that out, put that in there, give it a good stir, and then bring it back up to the, uh, the 21 litre mark. water in. Give it a stir, get all that goodness. There we go, not the jubbling. See everything now got there sterilised. So, and then we'll pour it in, in the bucket. Lovely jolly. Um, we'll give it a good stir. Right, we're going to pour the water. We we'll do it from a good height so you get plenty of aeration. This is cold water, by the way. So we'll do that again. Right, we're going to try and get the 21 later mark. Oh. 
quickly the temperature. Right, it's about uh, 27 degrees, so we'll uh, fill it up with a little bit more cold, up to 23. We'll do the job nicely. And then we'll add our yeast. Before we do what our yeast, we'll do a, a hydrometer test just to see what it is. See what it comes out at. Right, so the uh, hydrometer reading is about 140. Well, 1040. So that's exactly where it should be. So now it's time to add the yeast and give it a good stir. There we go. Pitch yeast time. So that's it for another week. Well, uh, the next video you'll see is of uh, hopefully this bubbling like a bad boy, and then we'll leave it for seven days and give it a bottle, and uh, all will be good. <sighs> it smells gorgeous already. So, there you go. That's the uh, Coopers or the Thomas Coopers IPA. All done and dusted.